Well, hello everyone and welcome to this new video about the new series that we're going to be doing with Global Training Aviation, GTA here in Madrid, Spain. Uh, thanks to Global, we're going to have access to different simulators. For example, today we are in the Airbus A320, but we have access to Boeing 737 also and Boeing and ATR. Uh, here we have Luis, that is going to be my, my first officer today on my right side. And in this first video, I we will just show and explain basic things about the different sections and parts of the Airbus A320 uh, cockpit, displays, levers and buttons, but in the future we'll do uh, different videos about emergency procedures and different uh, procedures on the Airbus A320, Boeing 737 and ATR. So we hope you like it, it's a big project, I'm very excited about it and thanks to Luis that is going to be my first officer today and we hope you like it, we hope we can learn together and let's go. Well, first of all, here on the left, uh, we have the primary flight display, PFD, and we can see uh, different information, basic information about flying. We can see the speed, altitude, attitude of the aircraft, heading, basic information to fly the aircraft. On the right side, we have the navigation display, or ND, uh, in which we can see basic information about the navigation of the flight. Uh, we can see RTAX, which is the next waypoint we are flying to. Tango Oscar uniform, so again basic information about the navigation and our route of flight. On the right we have the ISIS or ISIS, uh, which is basically a standby instrument, so in case we have an electrical failure and we lose all of our displays, we still have the standby instruments to continue to operate the, uh, the aircraft, fly the aircraft and navigate the aircraft safely. On the center here we have the ECAM, that is the Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring and it's composed of two displays, we have the upper ECAM and the lower ECAM. The ECAM is a very complex system that we will look about on a future video. We'll do many videos about the ECAM because it's very complex. But basically on the upper ECAM we can see basic information about the engine parameters. Also we have here flaps, fuel on board, and in case we have an emergency or we are on takeoff or approach and landing, we can see here different messages that will help us control the aircraft and uh, withstand with that emergency. On the lower ECAM we can see uh, different information about all the systems of the aircraft. Uh, for example now we have the engine systems, we can go through bleed or pneumatic system, pressurization system. So basically on the lower ECAM we can see all the information about all the different systems of the aircraft. Here on the right side we have the landing gear lever or landing gear handle, also we have the brake pressures here and the landing gear indications. Now there's all off because the landing gear is up and locked and also we have auto brake, we have in Airbus we have low, medium and max for the auto brake. In this area right here, in other simulators on, on the real aircraft we have a clock with also a chronometer. So up here we have the FCU, which is a flight control unit, and for me it's basically divided in two parts. We have the navigation display modes, also Luis has his own navigation display uh, buttons here. Um, basically I can modify all the information that I can see on my navigation display, I can modify it here, so the range to be closer range or wider, also the modes of the navigation display, or display uh, different information on the navigation display, for example, VORs, NDBs, or airports around. Also here we have the altimeter setting that is now set to a standard because we are en route. For example, now we are flight level 320, so the altimeter is set to a standard, but anytime we want, we can go and set the new altimeter setting. On the center part of the FCU, we have basically the autopilot. This is the speed, heading, and altitude. Right now we have Mach 0.77 because of ATC restrictions, so the Mach is 77. The heading you can see here, three dashes and a dot, that means the uh, heading is being controlled by the FMS. And the altitude, which is 32,000 feet, which is our altitude, cruise altitude today. 
We have lock and approach a localizer to establish a localizer of the ILS or a VOR radio. Also approach to establish ILS and follow the glide slope. We have autopilot one, autopilot two, and auto thrust. Here the expedite button, in case we, uh, we are told to expedite descent or climb, we can push the expedite and the aircraft himself will modify pitch to expedite climb or descent. Down here we have, as we said before, all the buttons here for the ECAM. Also we have some knobs that we can change displays from one to another. So in case I rotate this knob right here, I can show my lower ECAM on my navigation display. So in case for whatever reason we lose the lower ECAM, I can still continue to see the ECAM on my navigation display. So here on the sides of the pedestals we have the MCDUs, I have my MCDU, also Luis has his own MCDU and basically we have information about the route of flight, also we can have information for radios, basically it's about the route and the navigation for the flight. Continuing that down here we have the ACP or audio control panel, again basically it's for radio communications we are now 126.25 for ATC and we can change frequency for the ATC and uh, yeah. uh, down here we have the weather radar controls um, basically in case we are in weather or storm or rain um, I can set the weather radar to be displayed on my navigation display on the other side we have the ATC transponder squawk and also the, the TCAS we have standby TA and TARA uh, right now we have the squawk 2046, which is uh, the squawk that we were assigned by ATC. On the center of uh, the pedestal we have the thrust levers. Here on Airbus we have different detents. We have idle, we have climb, MCT, maximum continuous thrust, and toga for takeoff or go around. Below the idle we have idle reverse and full reverse, basically the thrust levers. Also here we have the trim, which is auto trim on Airbus. Down here we have the engine masters uh, for engine one, engine two, and also the engine star modes, normal and ignition. Here on my side we have the speed brakes uh, lever, uh, retracted and extended, and also they can be armed for takeoff and landing. On the other side we have the flaps lever on Airbus, we have four notches of flaps and the up position we have zero, one, two, three, and four flaps. On the center we have the rudder trim, again it's auto trim, but in case we have an engine failure and we have asymmetric thrust, uh, instead of being uh, fighting the aircraft with the rudder pedals, we can make use of the rudder trim and help us control the aircraft. Continuing down here we have the parking brake, which is now off and on, and also we have the uh, emergency gravitational landing gear extension which we will pull up rotate and we will uh, release the, the landing gear just by gravitation so finally up here we have the overhead panel again a very complex panel you can see many lights many knobs many buttons here but um, basically here we have all the controls about the system so as uh, as well as we had all the information about the systems on the lower ecam now we have all the controls about that those systems on the overhead so for example here you can see electrical system fuel system hydraulic systems so basically in case we have a failure we will see that system on the lower ecam and then we can control that system on the overhead so that's it for these new videos again thank you to global train aviation for letting us record and film on their simulators today we have used the airbus a320 but we'll be using also, we have access to Boeing 737 and the ATR and other simulators that they have. So thank you very much, Luis. You're welcome. For being with me, my pleasure. And uh, stay tuned to Best Aviation, hit the bell. This is a big project, I'm very excited about it. And that's it, frequency change approved, and bye-bye. On the center here, we have the ECAM that is electronic. <laughs> 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 Cut. Hope you like it. Hope we can enjoy and learn. Mm -hmm.